Okay, so in this quick video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to install RDP and how to run RDP and how to crack RDP password and also how to log in, obviously. Right, okay. So this is what we're going to do. This is going to be my server. And this is the, the server that I'm going to try to RDP into. So what you need to do is on the server that you want to RDP into, you need to type in sudo apt install xrdp for your password in. Now, for me, it's already installed. I don't need to do anything. If you don't have XRDP installed, you just need to follow the installation. Now, there's two things you can do. You can en enable RDP temporarily, which means reboot, and or you can make RDP run 24 seven. It's really up to you what you want to do. I'll show you both ways. If you want to run RDP temporarily, you need to type in sudo service XRDP start. Now, if you want to make sure that xrdp starts from every reboot so if you want to make sure that xrdp starts every reboot and it's just running 24 7 going to do sudo system system cto enable xrdp and that's you if it says executing enable xrdp that means you have basically enabled it correctly another way to check if it's running is just to type in sstlpn if you see port 3389 that means it's running and you're able to basically connect to RDP. Now, how to connect? What we need to do is you need to make sure that if you're on Kali Linux, you might have this installed. You need to type in sudo apt install x, sorry, free RDP to x11. And if it says it's installed, you don't need to do anything. As you can see, it says upgrading zero, installing zero, which means it is installed. If it's installed, all we need to do is type in x free RDP. Now we need to do forward slash, I mean, I'm actually gonna make this bigger forward slash two dots one eight two which is the ip address so whatever your ip address is if it's local then local if it's a vps then a vps your user now obviously this is a requirement because this is how our dp works you need valid credentials so for me the user is griffin and the password is password right and you just basically need to press enter now you might actually see that there's an error the reason there's an error is because we need to Actually, actually, it tells you right here, error info log off by user. We have been logged off by the user. So there is some problem. I'm not exactly sure why this happens, but what we need to do is if you come to Linux or your device, you just need to log out. You don't need to shut out, do not shut out the system, but you need to log out from the user, right? So as soon as I log out, I will be able to log in. There you go, right? And you get this little window. As you can see, I'm back into the device now once you actually log in or when you authenticate with rdp you can see that like the window is very very small and you can actually make it bigger so there's one way to do this if you press ctrl c or you just cancel the connection and you type in dynamic resolution what this will do is will make it actually very very easy to resize so if you just actually press the little window screen there you go right so as you can see it resizes it automatically and if you want to make this smaller you can do so and there you go, I made this smaller. Now, one thing I've noted is, is if you basically close it, like just close it with an X button, it causes problems. The best way to close this is just if you log out. If you log out, it doesn't cause any problems, just log out, yeah, whatever. And if you log out, it will basically allow you to reconnect, right? Now, you will ask, how do I crack an RTP password? All we need to do is type in Hydra, for your username. Now, I do recommend getting a username. If you do not get a username, it will take five years and technically it's impossible to crack unless it's something default or something very, very small, right? So in this case, it's Griffin. Now, put a word list. I'm just going to use Rocky because why not? Rocky is one of my the best um, word list. Obviously, this is a very, very simple password, so Rocky will do just fine. Specify the protocols. In this case, it's RDP, but you obviously you can crack other ones like FTP, SSH, and whatever you can really think of, and the IP address. Now I'm going to press enter and it should take literally two minutes, not even that. There you go, as you can see. Now, um, just for some, because there's some problems, and um, just ignore this. Uh, this is the actual password, right? So my password is password, right? As you saw basically two seconds ago because I specified it, right? Now, the thing is, if you actually find the password for the user, you can actually, you should be able to log into different um, protocols. So like SSH, so if I just do SSH Griffin at 182 and I specify the password, I should be able to log in also because- right, so that'll be it for this video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment, and please don't forget to also check my other videos, which should be somewhere on the screen. If not, then go to my playlists.